Hey friends, Dylan Bates here with the Final Cut Pro. Today, we're gonna to be covering the Ken Burns effect built into Final Cut Pro to achieve a nice, smooth zoom. So let's get started. Now what's great is this will work for both photos and for videos, and it can save you a lot of time doing digital zooms. There are a few downsides, and I will get into those in just a little bit, but first let me show you how to actually use them. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is drag our photo down to the timeline. Now, come on over to the transform tool, click that down arrow and press crop. Now you can move on over to the Ken Burns effect here. What's great is it will automatically crop past the black bars in this four x three photo. So you don't even have to scale it up or anything. Okay, so when we push Ken Burns, you'll notice there's two boxes, the start box and the end box. The start box is obviously where the beginning of your video will start. So let's shrink this so you can really see the effect happening. And the end box is where it will finish. If you want, you can actually quickly change the start and end position by pushing this flop button. And that will change the start position to where the end was and the end to where the start was. You can also preview your Ken Burns effect by pushing this upper left hand button here. Okay, so that's already doing the digital zoom. Now, the Ken Burns effect takes place over the duration of the clip. So if this clip is actually closer to 10 seconds, it will do that full zoom over the full 10 seconds. Or if you have the clip only less than a second and you play it, it will be much faster. Now, this is where the downside comes in. So let's say that you wanted to zoom on this bench here and you wanted it to stop at this bench only halfway through the clip. Well, unfortunately, it's going to take the whole duration of the clip and you can't stop it at a certain point. So you would be better served by using the transform tool. Hopefully that makes sense. That was the Ken Burns effect for Final Cut Pro. If this tutorial helped you at all, please consider pressing that like button as it does help me out tremendously and it is a free form of support from you. Also, if you wanna see more videos just like this one, I do make them every single week, so subscribe. With all that being said, I will see you next Wednesday.